Welcome back design students. We're going to do a really fun uh, small project where we're going to make a bowl of candy. And in order to do this we're going to use a class of things in Maya that are called dynamics. Some programs call them simulations but what we're going to do is use a particle system that will program to generate particles that will look like round pieces of candy. And we're going to take a break from modeling and let the computer do most of the work. Dynamics use physical processes and physics to simulate how objects in the real world might behave. Particle systems are no exception. You can set the mass and the collision and the friction and all of these other physical properties of each particle to make it behave like you want. Particle systems are very common in games and also all sorts of other CG uses. They're used to simulate everything from fire to water. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is a bowl for our candy. So let's start with a sphere and then let's use the uh, P sphere node to give it some basic real world dimensions. I'm going to make mine six units. And six units essentially translates to six centimeters. That's still a pretty small bowl. So let's maybe make it 15. And don't worry that it's bigger than the grid. That's okay. And then let's create the bowl shape. Move your view so that it's pretty much straight on. Switch to vertex mode and grab the bottom vertices like so. Rotate around your sphere to make sure you've got all the ones you mean to. And then get your scale tool and you scale them in the Y axis to make them flat. And then get the move tool and move them up so that they still follow the curve of the sphere. We now have the bottom of our bowl. Now how your bowl looks is up to you. I'm going to grab these faces here, maybe these, make sure I have all the ones I mean to, hit delete on your keyboard, and we now have a basic bowl shape. But it has no depth. To give it depth, switch to face mode and highlight the whole entire thing like so, and then hold down shift and extrude it outward. Adjust the thickness till you get the thickness you want. And to make the top of the bowl flat here, you can adjust the offset until it's basically the shape you want. It can be like that or it can be like that. I like to make mine basically about flat. Once you're done, click another tool to accept the transformation. Then switch back to object mode. Now you can play around with the shape of this bowl, or this jar, or whatever you want to call it, as much as you want. But I'm just going to leave mine just like that. And then I want to make sure that my bowl is sitting on the ground. You can see the grid right here. And if I move my move, get my move tool and move it up, you can see that it's not really on the ground. I want to make sure that it's on the ground. So to do that, I'm going to readjust my pivot point to this center vertex here. Now to do that, I'm going to hold down D on my keyboard, and then I'm also going to hold down V, which turns on the Snap to Vertex mode, and I'm going to snap down until it snaps into place, and then check to make sure that it's on that center vertex. And then I'm going to put it down on the ground, zoom in some, and hold down X, which turns on Snap to Grid, and then snap it down to the grid. And now I can be assured that it's exactly on the ground. And the next thing we need is a ground plane. So let's create a plane and get the scale tool and scale our ground plane out. And remember we want it to be big so that the so that it sort of implies that there's a a large area here and then we might want to get the move tool and switch to the side view and maybe move our bowl up oops sorry maybe move our bowl up just a hair so it's not totally totally on the ground and that's it for modeling the bowl when we come back we will create the particle system and fill the bowl with brightly colored gumball candies. And I'll see you then.